If we dissect this question, we will realize that there were three main actions taken. The first step is where chocolates were taken from group A and distributed to groups B and C. In the second step, chocolates were removed from group B and distributed to groups A and C. In the third step, chocolates were taken from group C and given to groups A and B. Okay, so we have groups A, B, and C. In the end, the final ratio was that the number of chocolates in group A was twice of C. So A will be twice of C in a 2 to 1 ratio, and B was twice of A, so B will be 4. So this is the final ratio of number of chocolates. Since there were a total of 252, all these will give 252, which corresponds with a total of 7 units, where 2 plus 4 plus 1 gives 7. So we can find out what 1 unit is, which is 36. From here, we can continue to find the number of chocolates each group has. Since B has 4 units, we can find that it has 144 chocolates. And since A has 2 units, we can find that it has 72 chocolates. Okay? So this is the number of chocolates each group has in the end. Now we are going to work backwards to find the initial amount of chocolates each group has. So if we work backwards, this will be step number 3, where chocolates were taken from group C and given to A and B. Since A and B were doubled, before they were given the chocolates from C, they have to be half. So half of 72 will be 36, and half of 144 will be 72. So group C will have to add back the remaining of it. Since the total number of chocolates will remain as 252, we can easily find the number of chocolates C has, which is 144. Okay? Now, if you work one more step backwards to the second step. In the second step, chocolates were taken from group B and given to A and C. Since A and C were doubled, we will have to find half of it. So half of 36 will give 18, and half of 144 will give 72. Since the total number of chocolates here will still have to be 252, we can find the number of chocolates B has will be 162. Okay? Now we are not done yet. We have to move one more step backwards to the first step where chocolates were taken from group A and given to groups B and C. Since group B and C number of chocolates were doubled, we have to half it now. So half of 162 will be 81. Half of 72 will be 36. And since the total number of chocolates here will have to equal to 252, we can subtract 81 and 36 from 252 to obtain 135. So this is the number of chocolates they started off with. The question asks, find the number of chocolates in the largest group of chocolates at first. So the largest group here will be group A, which has 135. So this will be your answer.